Well, the, the most obvious uh, and most certain challenge is the fiscal challenge. Um, graying means paying. It means paying more for pensions, more for health care, more for social services for the elderly. Uh, uh, most of the developed countries um, uh, have uh, pay-as-you-go social insurance systems uh, in which the current uh, uh, working age population um, is taxed to pay for benefits uh, to the current retired population. Um, pay-as-you-go systems are vulnerable uh, to um, um, demographic aging. Uh, the falling fertility and rising longevity means a declining ratio of workers uh, to retirees and a rising cost rate for pay-as-you-go social insurance systems. Uh, as part of our aging vulnerability uh, project um, at uh, CSIS, uh, we project that uh, most developed countries will see uh, uh, an extra 10 percent, we'll have to devote an extra 10 percent of GDP to benefits to the elderly um, over the next 25 to 30 years. So that would bring the total, um, it varies from country to country, but from uh, an average of about 12 percent to an average of about 24 percent. Um, that's a big increase. Uh, an extra 10 percent of GDP is 25 percent of workers' wages. It's also three times what the United States now spends as a share of GDP, or two and a half times what we now spend on national defense. So the first, the first um, line challenge is the fiscal challenge, uh, but the implications reach far beyond that. Uh, uh, there's also uh, the challenge of more slowly growing um, or declining uh, working age populations, which in turn will mean, um, in all likelihood, slower economic growth. Uh, falling fertility um, is not only hollowing out the traditional age pyramid at the bottom, um, it's also ushering in uh, an era uh, of widespread workforce and, and population decline. Um, in many European countries and in Japan, the workforce will be declining by between one and one and a half percent per year by the, by the 2020s. Um, and this will translate um, um, into uh, slower aggregate GDP growth and perhaps also into slower per capita GDP growth. Uh, more slowly growing workforces mean uh, relatively less investment um, and perhaps fewer opportunities uh, for innovation um, and technological advance, what some economists call learning by doing. The developed countries will have an aging stock of physical capital. They'll also have an aging stock of human capital as the median um, age of the, uh, the workforce rises. There's also a social and a political challenge. Will, will smaller families be able to care for a burgeoning number of frail elders? Uh, although most countries have socialized uh, uh, much of the cost in the developed world of, of, of growing old um, um, with pension, through pension programs and, and uh, acute care health benefit, health benefits, the cost of long-term care uh, in many places, certainly this is true in the United States, um, still largely falls uh, on the extended family. Will the family be able to uh, 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 to bear this, this added burden or will the cost get uh, pushed off onto government um, um, with even more dire uh, implications for the long-term fiscal outlook? Uh, will aging electorates um, um, become, will the gray lobby become a political titan uh, astride the body body politic? Uh, what does the aging of the electorate imply uh, for the ability to reform um, unsustainable uh, old age benefit programs in the future? And, and, and most broadly, um, what about the culture? Uh, what about the social mood? Um, sociology, uh, sociologists have spent uh, much time talking about the, the individual life cycle um, and, and trying to isolate uh, attitudes and behaviors um, um, typical to different ages, uh, you know, risk-taking entrepreneurial youth um, and, 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 and more uh, risk-averse, uh, uh, cautious um, um, old age. Uh, Cicero said, uh, young men for action, old men for counsel. Um, um, is there an analogy uh, uh, to the society as a whole? 
um, as the median age rises and what does that imply uh, for the dynamism um, uh, of the culture and of society in, in, in the future. The well-known French demographer, the late French demographer Alfred Sauvy, talked about uh, the future of Europe as a future of old people living in old houses, ruminating about old ideas. And finally, the geopolitical challenge. Um, the developed world uh, is aging, and many parts of it uh, will be shrinking. Um, but much of the developing world will still be young um, and, and fast uh, growing. Uh, what does this, what a differential uh, uh, rates of population growth and, and, and differential age structures imply for the geopolitical balance of power in the future? It's a, not just a question of manpower shortages or, or people power shortages. Uh, it's also a question of fiscal pressure on defense and foreign affairs budgets and to loop back around to the question of uh, uh, social mood. Um, will older uh, electorates uh, 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 be less prone um, to engage uh, uh, issues um, um, in, in, in the broader geopolitical theater? Or, they, or will they be more prone uh, to protect current uh, consumption? Um, so a whole range uh, uh, of challenges, some of them relatively certain, some more speculative, uh, but all of which need to be considered by, by policymakers.